group, we had Connor Rish, Diane Hong, Kate Anderson, and yeah, me, Mary. So we made an animal cell, and the difference between animal and plant cells is that animal cells have a centriole and a flagellum, while plant cells don't have that, and plant cells have a central vacuole cell wall and chloroplast, which animal cells don't. And the difference in the shapes that animal cells more like circle-ish and oval-like, and the plant ones kind of like a hexagon with tails on the ends. So yeah, so let's go to that. So centrioles, which are found right here in an animal cell, help with cellular division. Many times they are found perpendicular to each other, like they are right Flagella, here. which is found right here on the animal cell and comes out, is long, thin, and whip-like, and it moves the cell. It allows the cell to move like this. It moves in an S-shaped pattern. The apparatus right here is an organelle that modifies and stores and moves proteins to where they want to go next through these uh, vesicles. One side of the Golgi apparatus, right here, receives vesicles that come from the endoplasmic reticulum. The, the enzymes in the Golgi apparatus then um, change the chemical structure, move it to this side where they can go to any other place. Vesicles, which are found right next to the Golgi apparatus in this cell model, move um, products into, out of, and in the cell. When moving products outside of a cell, a vesicle uh, joins together with the plasma membrane and spills products outside of the cell. This is called exocytosis. The opposite process, endocytosis, takes uh, products into the cell by using vesicles. Okay, peroxisomes are found right here in the cell, and they break down sugars, toxins, and fatty acids. Okay, so I did the plasma membrane, and this is located around the cell, and what this does is it helps determine what can go in and out of the cell, and it, th what this does is it also helps protect the cell against unwanted things. Another part found in, in the cell is called the vacuoles, which are these yellow things right here, and what they do is they store nutrients. In okay, so another important key piece in the cell is called lysosomes, and what they do, or another nickname for them are called the dis a garbage disposal unit, what they do is they use digestion enzymes to, um, and to break down uh, to break down food items and then destroy like any unwanted, harmful, ingested sum ah, ingested substances. And they also help recycle the organelles. And these are located um, right here and here. Those two. Mitochondrion are another function found in the cell, and right here, this is the mitochondrion. And what it does is it releases um, energy from sugars and makes ATP molecules. So the cytoskeleton is made up, of, made up of microtubules and microfilaments, and it's located between the membrane and the nucleus in the cell. So what these two things do is they hold things in place, they move the cell, and they tra transport items. So the rough ER, which is right there, transports vesicles into, no, in transport proteins, and it has ribosomes, which are the little red balls. So the smooth ER, which is right there, builds and transports lipids, and it breaks down glycogen. So ribosomes, right there, make protein, and they are located on the rough ER and throughout the cell. So, the nucleus right there, it houses DNA, and it is the control center of the cell, and inside it is the nucleolus, which makes ribosomes.